Hi guys, um, welcome to my video about fountain pens and inks. I've recently been getting super into just different colored inks and using my fountain pens again. Uh, you'll probably see that in other posts and videos that I've put out. But I decided to get a new fountain pen, this Traveler's fountain pen it is all made of brass from the traveler's notebook company or just traveler's company i guess and look how cute it is it's so little so it's a pocket pen uh that's one of the main reasons i wanted to get it because uh it's little and then you take it apart and you pop the lid um onto the back and it is Longer than some fountain pens that I have. So, yes, yeah, beautiful. I love slim pens. I don't know why. I just am not a big fan of fat pens. Probably because I have pretty small hands. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, I went to the store and I found these inks. Well, I looked online first. Ferris Wheel Press. Their branding is the most beautiful thing. It's honestly, like their products are good too, but they brand it very well. So I got these little ink samples, Tanzanite Sky, Blue Velvet, or Bluegrass Velvet, and Candy Marsala. I might be saying that wrong, sorry. But they're just these little sort of like five milliliter uh, bullet um, sample inks. And I don't, I haven't tried any of them out yet, so I definitely wanted to do get sample sizes. And their big ink bottles are actually quite expensive, so I didn't want to get anything before I tried them out. Plus, this way you get to try out a whole bunch of fun colors, and I probably won't be buying like bigger bottles until I find colors that I really like. Uh, so that's um, Cream of Earl. And that's uh, Blue Cotton Candy. So cute. And that is Candy... No, that's Strawberry Macaroon. Yeah, or Macaron. And this is the beautiful box. That's so pretty. I love all the gold. And like these tiny little boxes. And it's like magnetic. And it says every... Great idea begins with a spark of imagination. So I feel a little bit like their branding is tailored to me specifically because I love this stuff. So this is my little notebook that I made and I put my ink swatches in here. I put it on the Rhodia uh, paper because it's great for fountain pens. And you'll see with this first color that it is so light. When you put a lot of ink, like a lot of ink, uh, it shows up, but you have to put a lot. So I'm a little bit confused why they made the color this light, because you'd have to have a fountain pen that is really wet and, oh, I'm sorry, you're getting in my way. <laughs> Yeah, that's really wet in order for it to show up. So I, I love the color. You'll see later how it dries. But I can't, don't think I can use it in a fountain pen. Maybe I just don't have fountain pens that are broad enough. Because mine's sort of a medium fine and a fine. But... Yeah, it makes me really sad because the colors are so beautiful when you lay it out on the paper like this. You'll see with the cotton candy as well. Um, it's just so pretty and there's a bit of like purpliness to it. Oh, it's just so pretty. But I tried putting the ink in my fountain pen and it was just super light. You could like hardly see it. It probably looks a little bit darker on this video, actually, uh, just because of color correction. But, yeah, like, look at the lightest part of the color, and that's kind of how it comes out of the pen. So, I'm, I don't know. I'm either going to... 
I don't know, use it to mix with other inks to get new colors. Or I will maybe use a paintbrush and just add some like fun colors to my sketchbook pages. So I'm not really sure. Uh, this is the Candy Marcella. It is quite a dark color. So in contrast, this one's quite dark. Um, it's not my favorite color. It shades nicely and it looks pretty, but that color specifically isn't my favorite. Uh, this is Tanzanite Sky, which is a very dark purple. Looks a bit more blue there, but yeah, you can see the purple there. It is quite dark. I'm sure it'll be fine to write with, but I don't know. This color, on the other hand, this is Bluegrass Velvet, and oh my gosh. I'm a huge fan of teal, as you probably know. So any teal color in inks, I'm like, oh, I love it. And like, oh, it's just so beautiful. I haven't, I, I have sort of tried that color out uh, with writing, and it does look very beautiful. This is the Cream of Earl, which, I mean, the name itself is so beautiful that it makes you want to get it. But again, I don't think I could probably write with this because... You wouldn't really see it. So I'm not really sure what to do with that either. And I keep, I watched a bunch of videos before I bought it. And everyone's like, oh, this color's so beautiful. I love it. And I'm like, yeah, I want it. But again, like it, if you look at the lightest part of it, that's kind of what comes out of the fountain pen. So I don't know. But they are very beautiful colors. So if you are okay with writing super light, you could do that. Um, so this is my Faber-Castell fountain pen, as I'm writing here. Um, and this is with uh, my turquoise ink that I had already bought. Um, it's a medium fine, and it's pretty juicy, but not too juicy, which is nice. And it is a great writing pen. I love it. It's just so beautiful so I love to do my like morning pages my journal pages with this pen because you can really see the ink and yeah I just I really love it also I apologize for how I hold my pens because I just clamp onto them and that's just what I've done my whole life but when I watch myself do it I like cringe at it <laughs> anyways uh, this is the traveler's pen uh, fountain pen and at this point, it probably wasn't quite uh, as juicy as it is now. It's not a juicy pen at all, but it would catch a little bit. But I think that was just like because it was a new pen and I was trying it out the first time. So it's really fine. It is really nice to write with. It's a very good pen. Um, I think I was hoping for something a bit wetter when I bought it because I was looking for another writing pen but this one actually I mean it's great for writing but personally I like it better for sort of smaller writing areas instead of like really long writing times um but it's actually great for drawing which is is good but I do also have my Lamy pen that is also great for drawing. So I'm like, hmm. And I'm not a big fan of having different colors for drawing. Like I'm a big fan of black. This is like a, a blue black. Um, so I don't know, maybe I just have to get used to drawing with another color as well. So I have both a black option and a not black option. Or I don't know, <laughs> we'll see. I don't love putting like, um, lighter colors in this pen I like it dark so yeah it's just it's crazy like how different the pen can change what inks you want to put it in and how you enjoy that ink and this is just my tester page lots of doodles and weird hair designs and writing so thank you so much for joining me for this video and I hope you get excited about pins too and leave a comment if you want to talk about it. So have a good day. Bye.